Hello, everyone. My name is Ming Xuan Sun from Baidu Security. On behalf of the TKLM community, today I will talk about our open source universal secure computing platform written in Rust, TKLM. I'll start with background and then briefly introduce current status and some highlight of TKLM project. Then I will provide some details of the TKLM internals. At last, I will talk about how to get involved and present the TKLM community. Okay, let's get started. Emerging technologies of big data analytics, machine learning, cloud and edge computing, and the blockchain are leading significant progress in our society. But they are also bringing new confidentiality and security issues. On public cloud and blockchain, sensitive data like health and the financial records may be exploited at runtime by untrusted computing processes running on compromised platform. During in-house data exchange, confidential information may cross different clearance uh, boundaries and possibly fall into the wrong hands. Also not to mention a privacy issue arising offshore data supply chain. And other than data privacy, uh, the models, algorithm they themselves also need to be well protected. Once leaked, attackers can steal intellectual properties or launch white box attack and easily exploit the weakness of the models. Facing all these kind of um, risky scenarios, we are in desperate need of a trusted and the secure mechanism, enabling us to protect both private data and uh, computing models during a uh, marketable uh, execution in potential unsafe environment, uh, yet preserving functionalities, uh, performance, compatibility, and uh, flexibility. As illustrated in this figure, secure computing provides a solution for the uh, trusted and secure execution environment that redefines a big data business model. Even if data and the model originated from different parties with no mutual trust, confidentiality and integrity can still be effectively protected. Moreover, it significantly reduces a uh, trusted computing base and makes the whole stack easily auditable and uh, verifiable. Secure computing, also called confidential com computing, is to provide a secure place and safe place for multi-party to compute on sensitive data. Trusted execution environment, or TEE, is one of the technology for secure computing. It provides hardware-based isolation, memory encryption, and uh, testation. For example, Intel SGX, ARM Trust Zone, and uh, AMD SCV are uh, TE implementations by different vendors. In nutshell, developers need to uh, separate the program into two parts, one in untrusted world and another in secure world or trusted world to process sensitive data within the TE uh, with all the security guarantees by TE. So right now, service providers like Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud and IBM Cloud have already provided the TE VM products on their uh, cloud. The goal of uh, DClave is to create a framework a platform that allow programmer to concentrate on business logic and automate small production of their code and data without worrying about technology detail, technical detail of TE development. Programmers or users only need to focus on sensitive data, business logic, and their interface between users and the platforms. The platform manages data and uh, executes business logic in TE computing units deployed as a distributed system. So when uh, implementing uh, the TCLAF, uh, we have several uh, requirements for the programming languages in mind. The first one is memory safety. Uh, 
as we all know, a memory safety issue uh, in, in current uh, application development can cause uh, uh, dangerous damage, but the memory safety issue in the trusted execution environment can break all security guarantees provided by hardware. Historically, we have seen that memory safety vulnerabilities of TE written in C and C++ can lead to sensitive data leakage. Another property we want to achieve is uh, efficiency. Because TEA is a resource constrained environment and we have limited memory and IO capabilities. Uh, we need to have a minimal um, runtime and uh, also for security, we want to have a deterministic runtime to ensure the confidentiality of privacy data and the integrity of code. And these security properties also be remotely attested by uh, end users. So that's why we choose uh, Rust. Rust has, uh, has a strong type system to guarantee the memory safety uh, of the program. So it can be statistically compiled and uh, has a small runtime. So uh, the Rust uh, ecosystem uh, is ready for cloud computing and have many uh, third-party libraries for uh, RPCs um, and, and such cloud uh, uh, computing uh, uh, need capabilities. So the community of Rust is also very healthy and uh, strong to support our uh, development. So then let me summarize TCLAVE or T Apache TCLAVE is open source or universal secure computing platform uh, written in Rust, uh, makes uh, computation on privacy sensitive data safe and simple. So this project originally de developed at Baidu as known as Mesa T was open sourced in July, 2019. And then uh, we donated the uh, project along with uh, Rust SGX SDK to Apache Software Foundation in August uh, 20, uh, 2019 and changed the project name to TCLEF. In uh, 2021, this year, uh, we also donated uh, Rust OPT Trust Zone SDK to TCLEF as a subject. So right now, uh, the TCLAV have uh, ability to write uh, TE uh, in uh, Intel SDX and the uh, ARM Trust Zone. And currently, TCLAV is under the Apache incubator and the open source in the Apache way. So I will introduce some highlights next. Uh, you can visit our homepage and the repositories to learn more. Um, TKLAV have four um, basic um, highlights. The first one is functionality uh, to um, give a convenient interface for end users. TKLAV is provided as a functional service platform with many building functions. It supports tasks like machine learning, private setting section, crypto computation, actual actual. Uh, in addition, developer can also deploy and execute Python scripts in TKLAV. But more importantly, unlike traditional functional service platform, uh, TKLAV supports both general secure computing tasks and uh, flexible single and multi-party secure computation. So for security, we adopt multiple uh, security technologies to enable secure computing, in particular, uh, TKLA will use Intel SDX um, Trust Zone to solve most uh, security sensitive tasks with hardware based isolation, memory encryption, and the test station. Also, uh, TKLA is written in Rust to prevent uh, any memory safety uh, issues. For usability, TKLA builds its components in containers, uh, therefore, it can be deployed uh, both locally and within cloud infrastructures. And TKLA also provide convenient endpoint, endpoint APIs, uh, client SDK in uh, a lot of languages and uh, uh, also uh, command line tools. 
uh, at last the modularity components in TQL are designed in modular and some components can uh, like remote attestation can be easily embedded in other projects in addition TQL SGX SDK and the Trustful SDK can be used separate, separately to write standalone uh, SGS enclave and the uh, trust zone application for other purpose. So since TCLAV is a function as service platform, user only need, need to consider about uh, functions, business logic, and uh, participants. When client or user have determined about three factors, they can follow this step to execute tasks on sensitive data in SGX, uh, just like a, a normal function service platform. First, they register data and function to the platform and then create and run task. At last, you can get execution result from the platform. The APIs are pretty easy. We provide C, Rust, Python, and even, even Swift client SDKs. Uh, currently, services uh, are implemented in SGX enclaves and uh, written in Rust. And we have several uh, services of in front end core services and workers. They are authentication services, service, front end service, storage service, management service, scheduler service, access control, and execution services. Uh, we separate it into three domains and to manage the data and make sure uh, sensitive data can only be circled around uh, inside uh, one domain. Services are communicated with RPCs and here are some interfaces defined in protobuf. Uh, I will skip these details here, uh, but you are, if you are interested in this uh, communication interface, you can see the protobuf uh, definitions. So here is some, uh, here's a brief uh, introduction of the interfaces between each uh, service. Basically clients communicate, uh, authenticate their ID confidential, credential to get a session key. This session key will be used later to communicate with the front end service. And client, the then client then register data and function if needed and assign, approve, invoke task. Clients can also get information of functions task. Front end service will uh, redirect uh, all valid requests to the management service. And uh, a management service get authorization of data function usage and task uh, invocation, and then persist a function data tasks into database uh, in the storage service. And the scheduler service will fetch uh, any uh, uh, functions uh, data tasks need to be executed in the queue and dispatch uh, um, task into uh, execution services. So uh, the um, execution service and the scheduler service use uh, subscribe and the pool uh, model. Um, execution service can get um, um, task and execute it. After executing the uh, function, the result will be updated and the process in the storage service. So uh, synchronously, um, uh, clients can get the result later. So that's the uh, simple uh, interfaces between different services. As you can see, uh, the um, interface the interfaces between services are pretty simple and uh, it designed in uh, in cloud uh, and you can deploy this uh, service in dockers and uh, uh, in the in your cloud infrastructure to get started with tclave uh, we provide extensive uh, documentations uh, including uh, um, to first try the functions, uh, how to write functions in Python, 
and how to add uh, building functions written in Rust. And uh, also we provide documentations to uh, describe our designs and implementations in details, like uh, our threat model and uh, how, uh, how the mutual attestation between in our uh, platform and the access control uh, modules and uh, our build systems uh, for Rust and some other internals uh, of implementation of t service. So if you want to read the code uh, for each uh, code base uh, directories, we also have a readme to help you to get you through the code. So let, at last, let me give an overview of the TCLIV community. Since TCLIV is a huge project, which have multiple layers, many users can get involved in the community. Platform users can use the TCLIV platform directly. For example, deploy the system in private infrastructure. And some other users uh, may prefer to only use one uh, standalone service, for example, or storage service, execution service, and so on. Also, a lot of projects are using our attestation implementations. And of course, some users directly use Rust SDK SDK and Trust SDK to build their own applications. So we are pretty open to different users uh, to meet uh, their uh, various needs. The TCL community have also supported many other projects like commercial products, uh, academic research projects, and some other open source projects. You can see from our uh, homepage, uh, there's a page called um, Powered By in the community. You can see uh, like organizations like Baidu, uh, ByteDance, Enigma, uh, and the projects like uh, Advanka, uh, Anonify, Crypto Chain, uh, Alclum, uh, and so on and so forth. I will not uh, uh, try to. Uh, List them all. So they are all using TCLIF, either the platform and the library or Rust SDX or Trustum SDK. So overall, we encourage all people in the Rust community and in the uh, SDX T community to come in and get involved. So at last, I want to put more information on TCLIF. Uh, if you want to uh, uh, follow our latest news, please join us on the mailing list. And uh, uh, right now we have a month, we have monthly uh, virtual meetup on Zoom in every month. So uh, follow the our mailing list, mailing list to see the schedule. And we also uh, invite some uh, speakers to talk about some topics in uh, Rust and the TCLIF. So you can also visit our homepage to see documents and uh, projects powered by TCLIF and uh, some tutorials. You can also follow us on Twitter and check out our code. And at last, we always call for uh, contributions and the contributors. So uh, thanks. So last thing, uh, we just announced the TK uh, Trust Zone SDK. Uh, besides SGX SDK, we can also write uh, Trust Zone applications. Please check out it at uh, our whole page. Okay, thank you so much.